So we are at home number four. This home was built by Split Rock Fine Homes. These are beautiful homes. The price was sold for 5,300,000 and the price without the lot was 4,800,000. And you'll see when we get to the backyard how large this lot and the views are and you'll see why the lot is priced at that. Well, let's talk a little bit about location. So we, we are in Little Valley. Up I mean, above Little Valley. Up above, you you see the entire city from here. Like these, these lots have some of the best views that St. George has to offer, so. And you're literally minutes away from everything. That hill behind us is the airport hill, but there's no immediate, immediate traffic. Most of your air traffic is way over there, so you never hear it. The total living area square footage in this home is 12,241. There is a total of nine bedrooms and 10 and a half bathrooms. That's insane, oh, 10 and a half big bathrooms. Enough. Yeah, who wants to clean that many bathrooms? Three, three levels to this home and a four car garage. Let's go check it out. You can tell that the weather is changing a little bit. Clouds are coming in. Look at these massive concrete slabs. Look at all these like different level planters. There's levels to these planters. Yeah, there is. What's down below? I don't know, there's three levels. So you've got oh, yeah. access to your landscaping down below through that staircase. We gotta go this way. This way, Ben. I, uh, some of these tours, it's tough to make sense of them because it makes sense for the logistics. But well, you don't want to be going against people. Yeah, you don't want to go against the traffic, but that's not the way normally you would walk through the house. That light fixture is beautiful. And from the primary bedroom, you get views of the entire city. That is sweet. That it's fireplace like too. It has it all, its own private deck. Okay. So this better, or this goes into the bedroom as well. Got a vanity on that side of the shower and a vanity over here, but that one has a makeup counter, so. So you walk through the shower. Oh. Looks like it's a steam shower as well. Mm -hmm. Rainfall. Look, but one, two, three, four, five, six. You get views from your shower as well. It's awesome. Oh. Six. Come back over here. Six. Now we're just looping around the shower. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's one of those steamers, huh? We haven't seen one of those. This is the first one we see yeah. this parade. <laughs> it's super convenient to have in your closet. Mm -hmm. Some love those lights. I love all the chandeliers above bathtubs. Oh, there was two toilets. One over here, one over there. I haven't really? seen that yet. Yeah. There They're was... not side by side, so there's two water closets. And there's two closets. Yeah. Okay, that's. I love closets with the center island. And with, look at the window and the natural light. No, the blinds are, I love that all the blinds are hidden. Yeah, in the event if you're just casually getting dressed and you don't want casually, for everybody to see. You have no neighbors anyways. Right into the laundry room. I love those cabinets. It's like perfect size laundry room. Like it's not over, like the laundry rooms we've been walking into have been like, Thousand square foot yeah, laundry like, rooms. Like you're gonna hang out in the laundry room all day. I mean, this is I mean, this is a good size. Unless you have a ton of kids and you have a ton of laundry. The barn door. Look, oh. Look at this cute table and chair. I love how grand this feels, and I haven't seen so we just started seeing these frame um, Samsung frame TVs in this huge size. They look so good. That is a huge fireplace. 
The wall is absolutely massive. Yeah, it is. Uh, there's an outdoor fireplace as and well. And I like those floating shelves that they're like super thick. Take a look at these views. So you have an outdoor patio. I love the color of that sport court. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at the size of that vent. That's your pot fill. <coughs> Wolf cooktop. Pot filler. Mm -hmm. So you've got a side by side fridge, and that door has got to be. Oh. Yeah. 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 We get a chance to go check out the pantry. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, there's, I think there's the butler's pantry we still need to check out. This office is cool. Looks like this opens it all up. Just this. Just this pass window. through? Yeah. Well, no, just this window. Oh. That's cool. The wooden beam details on the ceiling. Let's go look at the pantry. I think there was a, a butler, like a, a hidden entry, and also um, it's a full-on chef's kitchen. Look how massive this center island is. It's huge. And it ties in with the, the hood rings, the vent. The vent. The vent. Look at this massive window. Overlooks your backyard and your patio. I would have. I could do dishes all day looking at that view. And then you have. Oh, cute. Okay, that's my favorite. That's perfect. I love that idea. That is sweet. Yeah, this definitely needs to be done more often. And look at these li the lighting up here. I love that. What a nice touch. And you can I love all your the appliances right here. What's this? Oh, like it's from, it's from the central back? Like, should there be crumbs in there? Maybe. I don't want to mess with it. I don't know, but. They kind of look like puzzle pieces. You can feel the tile. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got the ceiling heaters. Feels nice. Check out this outdoor kitchen. Massive outdoor barbecue. So where are we going? Well, let's take a look at the pool. We've been skipping a lot of these upstairs decks and a couple of parade houses, so it's cool to finally be on one to get kind of a better perspective for the backyard because I feel like sometimes from some elevation and Look at this, so all of Little Valley is directly below you. You got a little bit of Pine Valley Mountain to the north. And there's a cool landscaping touch right there on the right where that retaining wall is so high. We have some really cool planters that I'm sure are gonna have some. It looks like those palm trees were just recently planted and when you replant palm trees at that size, it is crazy expensive. Yeah. Have, but with this massive house, can you imagine little tiny babies? Oh yeah, no, you had to do it. Yeah. I think they're like thousands of dollars per foot, actually. Uh-huh. And look at the size of this patio, but there's another deck on the top level. No, it looks like there's maybe those ever lights. Oh yeah, lighting. some permanent lighting. Whosever, whosever room this, that is, is in charge of the this deck. Overlooks the raised gardens. I think there's actually, or there was a lot for sale up here that was eyeballing. 
Why so just we take go? a look at how, I mean, they're like long and narrow. They're not super wide. They're actually decently wide. I think these lots are at least 80 feet wide, but they're super deep just to put things in perspective. Can relate. Cool walk and shower with a with cool floating stone bench. Sorry. That's cool how it's suspended. Good size closet. Okay, let's go this way. This way? Wait. We came from there, so go that way. We skipped a bunch of the house over here, babe. Well, we'll explore it. But if you go this way, you go, you go to another level. Um, well, let's go through the house and then downstairs first. Okay. I'm sure that they had this walkthrough thing figured out, no matter how much we think we're smarter. There's some storage under the stairs. Cute. Got this bathroom, half bath. And then you can access the butler's pantry from here, and it looks like you can access one garage bay right there. That's a really useful option. From the garage right into the pantry. Yeah. This must feel super large. Yeah. Like, imagine just us three. Oh, no way. Ten bathrooms? Are you kidding? I mean, we can make it work. Oh, my goodness. I love that this entire parade, you're never going to, like, see the same light fixture twice. Like, they're all so wildly different and so unique. Every single bedroom, all the light fixtures. Look at those light bulbs. Check out these cool chairs. Pocket full of sunshine. Come on, sunshine. It's a huge house. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay, this sink is awesome. I love those trough looking sinks. Yeah. And this one actually is probably the most functional one of the ones that I've seen because it has a pretty big pitch. Normally they're pretty shallow, and I feel like those sinks are kind of prone to overfill. Here, I'll take the bags. Not that particular sink. This is the room that has the highest deck. It has that cool uh, trough sink as well. Actually it looks like, it almost looks like it's cut into the stone. Yeah. This is like layers of stone and it's recessed towards the back. Some really cool I combination love of tile. We haven't seen this combination of tile oh, no. yet. It looks really good. And it's it like matches with that grout just perfectly. Like a matte gray and black tan. Yeah. Desert 10. And these wood beams are pretty consistent throughout the entire house. Wow. We are even higher. This is it. This is the $5 million view. It's awesome. It's crazy how much Little Valley has grown. I remember even since the moment I moved into this area, a lot of it was still the desert. This video doesn't do it justice at all. 
These views are absolutely breathtaking. It's a popular house today. What does this door take you? Oh, so this door takes you into the second bedroom. We've got two bedrooms that can come out to this patio. Hello again. Stairs. Because our favorites. <laughs> this third level um, laundry. Look at the tile in Small hexagon tile that's consistent over the trash hold <coughs> and across the entire floor. And then white subway tile pretty much all the way around the back of the shower. And the brushed gold. There's a closet over there. Those light fixtures are kind of funky looking. <laughs> And that's the door. Cute. Mirror and it matches the rug. That, that's that's the door that we saw from the outside. So that door is actually, it's almost like having a floor to ceiling window. It's great, great touch that it's completely transparent. I love that every room has like a dramatically different theme and color. Yeah, it really does. I feel like there's a different mood in every room. And being up against that airport hill on this side, you, it actually serves two purposes. Any, any property with a view in St. George will typically be more windy than others, but having that hill behind you, I can guarantee you that it doesn't get too windy here either. It's true. We're very wind sensitive, having moved to a hurricane recently. Yeah, now I, I notice every little breeze. Every, every new property, every new location where we think we might want to eventually build a house, I always worry about the wind. And I think this is one of those rare locations where you could <clears throat> build your house on this hill and there's a good chance that it's not actually gonna be that windy. Well, you're protected from the south at least. Maybe if it blows east to west, you're still, but it kind of wraps around. Anyway, I ramble. Uh, tub. We have not seen a tub inside of a shower for a while because it's kind of a thing of the past, unless you have a baby. So this, this room could be... Tubs are nice if you have a baby. Babies and dogs. I mean, I would say it's a muscle. This little balcony mm -hmm. oh. overlooks... Oh, it's warm up the here. Main living area. The heat rises. It does. So glad to... You are going back down? I guess, yep. I think. How many people do you think are in here right now? In here currently? Yeah. I was talking to one of the builders earlier and they said they saw over 30,000 walk through the houses so far. That's crazy. And we're what, on Tuesday? Yeah, but in this big of a house, I wonder how many people you At one time, you mean? Comfortably fit. Uh, the parking didn't look horrible. Yeah. Sorry, excuse us. There's a powder. Yep, now the other, actually. I would say a couple hundred people for sure. I think we go. One under stairs case. Down so we the haven't stairs. explored the west wing of the house and the downstairs yet. So we, we went back there. That's the go here first primary bedroom. Yep. Primary we bedroom. We, we did see the primary bedroom. Yeah, that's right. There's a laundry right outside of it. But there's still a little area outside, like on that side of the house that we have not seen. Well, plus the sport court. But I think we can access it from here, maybe. <laughs> Look at this accent wall. Such a great spot for it. Got that cool little nook under the stairs. Great use and of the space. Nook with the matching accent. I love it. That little there's a little Harry Potter closet in there you guys missed. Let's go let's go here first. Yes, finally. Finally, there's a bowling alley. Finally. So. <laughs> we did see a little mini one. Look at this. How, look, there's no people in here. What's going on? We have it all to ourselves, you guys. 
This is such Hi. a sweet setup. It's actually like super usable as a family room space because you could watch a movie here, play bowling, have a little area to fix yourself a snack or a drink, shoot a game of pool. By far, like entertainment space, I would rank this 10 out of 10. This is perfect. We'll have and to go through in more detail, but we're missing It is so much not this a is miniature so cool. bowling alley. It looks like it's the regulation size. Wow. I don't know a thing about bowling, so if any of our viewers do, tell me if this looks like it's the real size. It actually looks like the real size. Remember the other one that we saw, the little mini one? At the yeah, it had mini right little balls. Yeah, it had little, I've never seen that, little teeny ones. No, this is, <laughs> look, you got the full scoreboards. In, in bowling alley terms, this is probably one of the fanciest I've ever seen. There's some green over there. Do you think there's a... A golf simulator? Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a golf simulator behind that wall because you need quite a bit of space, about as much space for it. Look, all the shoes, your scoreboard. This is so cool. That's super cool. And they went vertical with this subway. I don't know if I would call this tile subway tile. It's not subway tile, it's like the ultra fancy tile. I want to take a look at this theater room. So it's cool how all this the walls, room. Like the walls and ceiling and everything's all velvet. I bet that's great for sound. This isolation. room is below the level of the rest of it. So I bet if you're watching a movie, the sound stays kind of isolated to this area. And if one theater TV wasn't enough, you got one right there too. Oh, you'll love this part. Oh, look at this, people are look at this dog favorite. bath. Look, you've got a little dog door right there too. I don't know if I can open it. I, I think they it's had okay, it. Here, I'll uh, just, I'm just gonna. I'll let you pass through over the top. Oh, cool. That's like a split level door. So there's actually a dog door that goes outside and one that goes inside. You train them to come in after they play outside, yeah. <clears throat> wash their paws. Oh, it's yeah. a hidden door. Did you catch it? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what's in there. I don't know. You'll never know. <laughs> I swear to every night, I hope I never know. Another <laughs> <laughs> laundry room. That's cool. I don't know. I haven't been counting laundry rooms in this house. Uh -uh. are pretty cool. I'm a big fan of these sinks. This is an even bigger trough sink. So this is like the the kids section of the house. Huh? Mm -hmm. You have a, a shared bath with three kids could be washing their faces at once. Yep. That is so cool. It just blends too. I wonder what, did you guys know there was one under the stairs? 
There is? Yeah. It's when you first come in, that accent wall, there's another hidden one. You can't tell at all. I'm like, what's in there? That is it's blocked off. I just want to take a peek. <laughs> I'm just waiting for someone else to go in. I'm like, I just wanted to see. How far does that go in? Emily, do it. Go. go, go, go. <laughs> Let's do it. Take the hit for us. <laughs> I kind of want to she do that at our house now. She said for like missing people or hiding people. I'm like, oh, check there for sure. Look at that, look at that ping pong table. That's cool. Wow, that's, I've never seen one like this. It's like, um, it's designed to be outside. You don't want to have a net or, you know, anything that will blow away. There's that other little pet. It looks table. very durable. Yeah, there's a pet door right there. I would love to be a pet in this yeah. house. Yeah. I've got more heating lamps all throughout under here. What is this? I, I'm not sure what this is. That is a hibachi grill, like a like a hot stone almost. Like I don't want to touch it and move it, but yeah, don't touch it. Does it's it like dream. spin? No. So this surface is where you it's cook. Just Essentially, one big hot stone. that's one oh. big hot stone, one big cooktop. <laughs> And then the area around that, that lower rim, is when you clean it. You catch everything. That's where everything goes into that There's catch basin. Okay. And then I'm sure somebody comes out and cleans it for you. Somebody comes out. I'll be that somebody. Hey. Yeah, it's it's a magic grill. It cleans itself. <laughs> what is that? Another hidden door? It looks pretty obvious. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Well, cool. And then I think we all oh, we have like just a little bit left of this home. So we, let's circle around. I will follow you wherever really you go. Kind of have since the day I met you. Oh, it's like a little garage door. Look. Oh, it's her roll up door. Yeah. And you've got. It looks little, like it's made out of wood. Your pad right there too. That is so cool. Maybe all your equipment for the. I love that um, the the water fountain, like the water feature, the diving board, yeah. is not like a cliche red rock. And no offense to those that have a cliche red rock um, diving board, but, but it's just something different. This is just something different, and it's very, very sharp, geometrical, modern, matches the rest of the house, and it is also super usable. And like for somebody that's generally clumsy with like backflips and jumps, like Michonne, myself, I feel. <laughs> How you doing, man? Doing great. How's it going? Good to see you. Sorry, you can turn that off. Good to see you. Got this cool fireplace, lower than any anything so on sweet. the property. There's so many different elevations in this house. You match that sport court perfectly right now, by the way. Heck yeah, I'm gonna go coach. Did you know to wear this red jacket today? Huh? Did you know to wear this red jacket today? Did you do it for a reason? Yeah, because we were coming here. Super cool. That is sweet. Oh, let's go check out the home gym. Look at how white this bowl is here. Not only is it extra long, it's also super wide. Got a home gym. downstairs as well below this area oh, wow. so there is an indoor sport court as well it's actually an indoor trampoline so you can you can shoot buckets right from there and Belga. that's cool yes, happy 
Uh huh. Okay. So I have a YouTube channel up in um, Salt Lake. Uh huh. And I was looking at like St. George, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's you guys. Oh, it's nice to see you. So fun. I'm Ryan. <laughs> Lashawn. Yes. Nice to meet you. It was so cool to run into Raya. She is a content creator and a real estate agent serving all of Salt Lake City. It was always so cool to meet fellow agents out and about. Seems so nice. They're also in this space. Oh, there's a sauna right here. It smells like sauna. Do not touch. It smells great. Mm-hmm. Look at this flooring. I know, I, I thought it felt like something, but no, it's just regular tile. So another trend that we've seen in a couple of homes this year is a cool trend. Actually, I could stand behind that one. I love saunas. So good for you. So good for you. Especially post training. Well, now everyone's doing cold plunges. Well, yeah, cold plunges Not and saunas. Cold. You don't cold plunge. Just kidding. I mean, you know I, haven't, I haven't tried in, it, so. In, in Russian culture, I'm gonna get hated for this, but in Russian culture, it's, it's like a normal thing to do, like to plunge in a, frozen river well do you have a choice out. because it's cold there all the time oh no, you do have a choice people <laughs> people do it for like health benefits it's just something that they do like i don't know like during a gathering like they get together they go and do a cold plunge and get in the sauna and it's not like a challenge it's like a regular thing it's just for fun yeah oh sorry oh, sorry <laughs> Some cool scribbly artwork. So this is craft room, office. Off the office. With a view. That is incredible. I thought I had cool views from my office. And then you call your local therapist and have a session right here? <laughs> no, the therapist comes to you. That's what I'm saying. Have them come on over. That's the therapist chair. It's the therapy chair. As funny as it is, it's not. <laughs> but like everyone has a therapist. Like we're 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 therapists. I my friend, my mom's my therapist. I'm an unlicensed one. I love the herringbone pattern that kind of breaks up. Like everything is similar in tone, but the patterns help separate things. Go left. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. good to see you, bud. You remember good me from Forsyth? Yeah, I do. Yeah, how's How have you been? Good. How's business? Thank you, Ben. Got a one for sale over at Hawkeye Point. That we just finished. Put it for sale. I have to come check it out. Yeah. So what did you guys think about this home? I thought it was absolutely beautiful. There was a lot of levels. Like, I'm still questioning if we even saw all of it. Are you thinking about moving to the area? If you are, please reach out to us. Call us, text us, email us, find us on social media. We would love to hear from you. We help all of our clients and friends in all price ranges. We do not just sell these massive homes. Like we're happy to help everyone and we would absolutely love to hear from you. So please reach Although out to us. Although if you are looking to build something massive like this, we have an incredible relationship with all the, all the Southern Utah home builders are in this parade. So if, if this is what you're after, I would absolutely love to be of service to you guys to help create another masterpiece that could compare to this home. Folks, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, not sure what you're waiting for, hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell right next to it so you don't miss any of our future parade videos. And there's also a playlist here somewhere to see the rest of them for 2023.